She is a woman who came into prominence in the 90s. Um, she was extremely manipulated, extremely um, sad and depressed. And I relate a lot to that. As you guys know, I do deal with extreme depression. Um, but I'm not going to talk about that. I know I just did. However, I'm going to move on and I'm going to talk about the positives that Lola endured in her life. She was very loved and appreciated. She just wished she could be loved and appreciated for what's on the inside instead of what's on the outside. Um, she was a beautiful person. She, Although she was very sad, she wanted to make people smile. Um, she did deal with a very rough childhood. She dealt with a very rough adult life two uh dealing with her manager husband who was arguably the most manipulative controlling person so i just wanted to give a tribute to someone that i looked up to um someone that You know, every day was a struggle for her, and she still pushed through till the very end, um, and I can relate a lot to that. So, thank you, Lolo, for all that you have given me and all the smiles that you've given me. Have a great day. Bye! Before I start, I wanted to say that the lip was inspired by this photo... beautiful the hair was inspired by this photo giving us a beautiful smile the eye makeup was inspired by this photo and I wanted to add Two more photos that I thought were really beautiful. I love this one. And I was going to do a red lip because of this one. But I thought I like the other lip more. This is just like a pretty much red lipstick. So anyway, just starting with the primer. I used the Smash Smashbox one. The name is in the description. And I'm just using a matte brown all over the lid and up to the crease. I would suggest that this is a little more of a brick colored brown, but use a brown, it's whatever. Um, and then eyeliner. The eyeliner to me looked a bit smoked out, so I'll take the eyeliner and then I will um, apply a black eyeshadow over top of it, which will smoke it out, as you can see. So 
so just continuing to do that until the liner blends into the shadow. And I did not do much to my eyebrows as well. I wanted to mention this. All I did was fill out the arch where I'm kind of missing a couple hairs. I didn't fill in the center or the end. And then I just put on some cream colored eyeshadow under the eyebrow. And I'm using the Magic Star Concealer. I've been using this a lot lately because I want to give a review and see how I find out or see how I like it find out how I like it <laughs> and then I'm applying black under the eye I already applied the pencil liner however now I'm going to be smudging it with shadow and then I go into using the wet n wild photo focus foundation. You could use a heavier coverage if you want. In addition to the Photo Focus Foundation by Wet n Wild, I am doing the MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. Um, I'm using that all over. The 90s was more of a matte look, of course. And then I'm using a nice blush. It's a nice nude colored blush, and then you put it a little below the apples and then you just blend. One of her photos, she had really statement blush on, so I thought I would throw that on here. And then I'm using a dark brown lip liner. Because, you know, the 90s lip, dark lip liner, light lipstick. I'm using Butt Naked by Jeffree Star. Really is whatever nude lip and brown pencil you have, whether it's a brown eyebrow pencil, a brown eye pencil, it doesn't matter. Then I'm sharpening up the brown liner because there was nothing really soft about it, honestly. <laughs> and I'm a pudding. I'm a pudding. Oh my god! I'm applying <laughs> um, Jeffrey Star's gloss in "I'm the Boss." And that's the finished look. Blonde hair, bangs, fur, sequins. Lolo Ferrari. Have a good day, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching.